Like breasts and periods? And... Well, that all developed later because when I was 15, I went to see this doctor and um, he basically told me I had a breath over a hermaphrodite condition. Mm. So, I was, well, I didn't really understand what that was, but he also told me that I would be dead by the time I was 25 and I'd die a horrible death. <laughs> that must have made you feel great. <laughs> well, actually, I sort of, because I was quite depressed as a child, it did actually, as such, because... I didn't... You think see, it was going to be an end to this? I thought it was an end to all the sort of heartache and all the pain, so mm. I sort of, strange to say, I felt quite happy. Mm. He gave me lots of sort of um, steroids and male hormones to try and keep me male, mm. but all that did was just make me sort of pile on lots of weight, half my hair fell out, my immune system was sort of gone a bit dodgy, sort of can weaken your heart, so I have to be very careful now yeah. that I haven't got anything wrong with my heart. Yeah, so when did you get, when were you correctly diagnosed? Um... It wasn't that long, well, actually, so within three to four years. What about your family? Were they pretty supportive uh, at this stage? Um, no, mm. I'd say, to be blunt. Mm. Because, well, my mother's got a drink problem as well, so it's very difficult sort of having no support when you go home as well and knowing that um, through alcohol someone can become very nasty to you as well. They can, yes, And um, so that's another sort of... They, I didn't have no sort of escape from anything. The only thing that I could get away from things was within the music and acting with the entertainment industry. How long have you been off steroids? Well, I sort of, it's only very recently because, I, as I said, I've been weaned off them. It's only really been the past sort of um, couple of months I haven't taken anything at all. Now that you've stopped taking them, do you think of yourself as male or female? Presumably because you call yourself Lisa Lee, you feel female. Actually, no. <laughs> do you not? People find it quite strange. They sort of think that you'll think one or the other. I've never felt classed myself as being very masculine or very feminine. So you just feel like you? Really? I just, exactly. This, and I tell people, well, if you can't accept me, that's your problem, it's not my problem. I'm the only person that has to wake up with myself in the morning and live with myself. Do you envisage a time at which uh, to carry that on? When you wake up in the morning, there's somebody else there with you? No, I don't worry about another person, although... I, I sort of am... It'd a lot be nice, of, though. It, it? Yeah, later on, but not yeah. straight away. I'm sort of, I've got to concentrate on getting to know myself. Right, because yes. I've grown up thinking I'm something, and then told I'm something else, and then being told you're something else again. Do you know anybody else who suffers with any of these conditions, or are you on your own? No, I, no, no, I do know a couple of people, actually. Because yeah. I'm from the CAH support group, which was great. What does the, uh, the Lisa Lee uh, 2001 version look like? Oh, rough. Because <laughs> basically, as I said, with the steroids, I put, it made me gain between five to seven stone in weight. Right. And it gives you more of a masculine sort of appearance because of all the male hormones. Mm. You put a lot of weight on your face and you sort of look quite sort of... Um, and your shoulders broaden slightly. Has your hair grown back? Well, it's, it started to, yeah. Mm. At the minute, I don't look too great. But mm. I'm not sort of look, trying to be really feminine, neither. And mm. I'm not going to try and be really masculine, neither. I'm just going to be myself. Just going to be Lisa Lee. People who've grown up with me as well, seeing me as a little boy, I think it would be too much for them to cope with as well, seeing me being extremely sort of feminine and stuff, and it wouldn't suit who I am, my mm. character, mm. because my character has been built on growing up as a little boy. I'm just sort of going to be carry on as I am. Lisa Lee Dark, and you can find out more about congenital adrenal hyperplasia by ringing the Radio 4 Action Line 0800 044 044. Last week 